sitting for all levels in 2018 Jabal best favorite student. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so there, let's start. So, first of all, we have to understand what a moment is. Number one, moment is not momentum. You are the Guru Gada Konegula. You will hear it. You will hear it. Guru Gada Konegula. Yes. Guru Gada Konegula. So Guru Kadana to keep it. Yeah, shot the shot. So moment is not the same as momentum. Take a sir. First of all, let's clarify this. Momentum is what? It is the product of an object's mass and velocity. Basically, how how hard it is to stop the object, or basically, as a momentum is conserved, right before a collision, after the collision. So we're not talking about momentum. We're talking about moment. Moment is very simply defined as the turning effect of a force. Okay. Shut up. Turning effect of a force. So, what do you understand by that? What is the turning effect of a force? If we take, for example, oops. If we take, for example, uh, a block. Take a sample. Let's just take a simple block, you know, and say it's sitting on the ground. Ahon, if you push it, tell me what happens. That's the ground. So if you push it, Jayo, huh? I'm still learning how to use it. So shut up, Munif Labib. So if you push it, Talikiyobe, it will accelerate in this direction, right? Newton's laws and everything. However, there are a block tasse, and we put it in space, and instead of pushing it a axis, my through its center of mass, now push for it. If we push it here, Tongye Kiyobe, it will, it is going to move, but it's also going to. Rotate, right? So, whenever you use a force to cause a turning effect, then it's called a moment. Okay, sir. Is this clear? At two percent, though, guys. All right. Okay. So, now the turning effect of a force is basically the moment of a force. So, a very simple way of looking at it would be that if you take, say, uh, a door, upre thege dekta so, right? This is the top view of a door. So, wall is shut. Ekhane yes. So what happens is that tomar ekhane the door has hinges, right? So say we put a hinge here. If someone pushes the door here, when the ekhane ekta knob is, oi pasha ekta knob thake. This is inside the room, outside the room, whatever. So if you push the door here, what's going to happen? The door opens, right? A opening to the point to say it depends on the turning effect created by this force F. This force causes a moment around this point. Does this make sense? Really simple. So eight times. I can call it this. The force itself, take a say, money can have a varying effect. For example, amra which are Lord of the Rings, that's when a hobbit or just door jar match can have hata thake. Again, that's really stupid. Take a say. You know, dekhi busu. So, oh, door jar khulte, money jantai bhai rehte. Tai na? Especially Zayn, Zayn mar moto maishe jar. Okay, okay. Zayn mar moto maishe jar. Zayn mar hobbit. Oh damn. Okay, fine. Strong Zayma. <laughs> We're not talking about the weak Zayma. Seriously. So Zay so, Hook. So we we don't usually put knobs here, right? I'm not kikori. We put knobs on the farthest end. I'm not. Egana to jivono thi bola. Tai na? Egana jo muni jodi doorja bana tha le jee paasho to knob thi. So we wouldn't even do that. What does this mean? And mani hoyte se je the further you take the pivot, uh, take the force from the pivot, the more the turning effect. Chega se. So we put zaima here. 
So Zaima, we know she's very weak. <coughs> and A Pasha, we say we put Munif, who's very, very strong here. Who's going to win? Zaima. Zaima's going to win. Can Because she has more distance from the pivot, right? Hmm. And Munif, on the other hand, has less distance from the pivot. So obviously, the magnitude of the force has an effect on the turning effect. Hmm. And another is the perpendicular distance of the force from the pivot. So, what do we exactly mean by perpendicular distance from the force to the pivot? For example, if this is a door and someone applies a force mm -hmm. here and the pivot is here, the perpendicular distance, again, is very easy to identify. The perpendicular distance is basically this much. How do we calculate these? You basically, one of the easiest methods is you just extend the line across the pivot. You can draw a 90 degree line from there. So, just again, 90 degree line, that is your perpendicular distance. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. So, if, for example, we take the door and we open it halfway, and uh, we take someone really smart, like. Uh, okay, yeah, Samin Sabha. And we tell her to close the door. And what she does is she starts pushing the door. <laughs> What's going to happen? No. When the door won't open, neither will it close. Right? When to be more accurate, you'd actually have to push right here. But I hope, so you get what I'm saying, right? So push look at what's happening. The force passes straight through the pivot. So whenever you have a force which passes straight through the pivot, it won't cause any moment, right? Any force passing through the pivot will not create any turning effect. Samin Sabha? Got it. You're awfully quiet today. Like, you know, usually that's un very uncharacteristic. So, Because the force is passing through a pivot. That to put in the clear. So, we can con conclude from all of this, we can conclude a very simple thing that moment of a force is basically uh, we can write it as w is equal to force into perpendicular distance from the pivot kisha of the force at two points in the clear guys yes. all right so yeah if you apply a force from here it perpendicular distance zero over because it's passing through the pivot again they apply equal perpendicular distance on a comb over it's going to be just here to here at two clear all right, done. So that would be the first basic concept of what a moment is. Let's move forward. Uh, so the next thing that we have to understand is how do we apply these concepts in a nice manner. All right. So first of all, say we draw a... a plank. Plank. Good job. So this is a plank. Or a meter rule plank. Or actually, meter rule. <laughs> and it we balance it. It can match it. Alright, you don't put a balance. Now. So, uh, say we put this uh, big load here. Take us a big actor mass. It mass with this is say 20 kg. Monic Beshi. 20 kg to me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, Munif Labi. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, 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 I this I mean, 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 I on this side here, take a set. For example, This is where I come in. This is uh to Igana Chilam, yeah. So Egana Doro, we put some in Saba. So So a distance to Koto with two two meters, right? Does this make sense? Yes. It's very simple, very straightforward. So we have Munif and we have Number one, this plank now is said to be in equilibrium. Moment kintu If we go back to the door, door perspective this force is causing the door to open in this direction, right? So if you look at a clock, take a clock 
জানো তো এটা নাকি আর আরেকটা তো যদি এইদিকে পুশ করো তাহলে দরজা এদিকে খুলতে পারে রাইট এটা কি হবে এটা হবে এন্টি ক্লক ওয়াইজ আরো সিম্পল ভাবে বলা যায় নো resultant moment. moment is this clear to everyone and the second thing jeta tomader dorkar hoye jese ekhane khyal koro ei plank ta jodio dui jon khubi well uh, a very uh, fit people dui pasho boshche ei plank ta is not accelerating downwards can anyone tell me why is there a chance to accelerate downwards mane ei kotha ta kya nosh this আপড ফোর্স টা has to cancel this out. So this is the second requirement for equilibrium ki je total upward force theke ache must be equal to total downward force. Or this can be written out of simple bhabe eta je rokom amra no resultant moment lekhi theke ara simple bhabe lekha jay ki no resultant force. Is this clear to everyone? So these are the equi- uh, requirements for equilibrium. Theke ache এখন ধরো সামথিং হ্যাপেন্স লাইক সে উই পুট সামওয়ান একটু ছোট খাটো এখানে বসাই দিলাম পারফেক্ট সো ফিফটি কেজি কম্পেয়ার টু দিস দিস ফিফটি ইজ নাথিং সো যাই হোক জায়মাকে আমরা বসালাম ওর এখান থেকে প্রপেনিকুলার ডিস্টেন্স ধরো হচ্ছে পয়েন্ট ফাইভ মিটার্স না উই ক্যান স্টার্ট ডুইং সাম ক্যালকুলেশন অ্যাবাউট দ্য টোটাল মুভমেন্ট হিয়ার রাইট কিছু যদি আমরা ক্যালকুলেশন করতে যাই দ্যাট অন সাইলেন্ট So, we need to do this calculation. So, what we need to do is, we need to put the Zaber somewhere here. Okay, so we don't know exactly where. All we know is that Zaber has a mass of 0.5 meters. Okay, so we need to put the Zaber somewhere here. Okay, so we need to put the Zaber ওকে সো ধরো 75 কেজি নাও উই নিড টু ফিগার আউট দ্য পজিশন যে জায়গা এটা ইয়া হবে সো হোয়াট উই ক্যান ডু ইজ আমরা আমাদের টার্গেট হইতো সে দিস ইজ গোনা বি ইন ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম রাইট সো ইকুইলিব্রিয়ামে রাখতে হলে টোটাল ক্লকওয়াইজ মোমেন্ট হ্যাজ টু বি ইকুয়াল টু টোটাল অ্যান্টি ক্লকওয়াইজ মোমেন্ট সো আমরা উই ক্যান স্টার্ট রাইটিং এন ইকুয়েশন হোয়ার আমরা এক পাশে সব ক্লকওয়াইজ দিলাম আর এক পাশে সব অ্যান্টি ক্লকওয়াইজ দিলাম আর এই ডিসটেন্সটা যেটা আমরা জানি না এটাকে উই ক্যান লেভেল ইট অ্যাজ সে এক্স নাও উই নিড টু সলভ ফর এক্স বস ইকুইলিব্রিয়ামে হ্যাঁ মানে আবার কি এমন ভাবে বসানো হয়েছে যে দ্য হোল থিং ইজ ইন ব্যালেন্স এগেন বুঝছো তুমি যখন বসছিল তখন তো আবার একটু এদিকে চলে গেছে না তখন যাবে ওই পাশে ওইটা এখানে বসলো বসে তারপর জিনিসটা সুন্দর করে ব্যালেন্স করছে ঠিক আছে কেন ব্যালেন্স আচ্ছা আচ্ছা কেন ব্যালেন্স করে তোমার সমস্যা আছে ওকে সো নাও উই ক্যান স্টার্ট রাইটিং এ ইকুয়েশন অফ টোটাল অ্যান্টি ক্লকওয়াইজ টু ক্লকওয়াইজ বা যেমনই লাগো সো লেটস স্টার্
Munif causes an anti-clockwise movement. Zaber causes an anti-clockwise movement, right? Mm-hmm. Or Zaima causes a clockwise movement and Samin Sabatodom Nathege, clockwise movement, right? Mm-hmm. So now we can write this down as an equation. The equation that you have it. Forces into perpendicular distance, right? So 200. Plus Wait. Into 10. Because that's the mass. You need the force into perpendicular distance. Uh, the weight of Munif Labib into his perpendicular distance from the pivot, which is 2 meters. Take a set. Plus. Yes, very good. Zabir 75 into 10 into this unknown distance x. Amazing. So, 50 into 10 into ki? Yeah, the big test is the big test. It is still. 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 50.3333333 So x is equal to 0.33 meters. Does this make sense? Yeah. Guys? Yeah. Okay, so basically this is how you solve these sort of questions. It's a, I, I think this would be a standard question that I have to ask you. Ask you. I don't know if you have to ask me, but I don't know if you have to ask Remember the painter? When the pure match is going to be taken, then the Okay, let's talk about that. So, we can take another scenario where we draw a plank, right? And a plank here. Center mass is the same, right? And weight is 100 Newton. And yet it is the same, pivot. So say the whole length of this is somewhere around 4 meters. So a distance to the row is 1 meter. So a distance to the obviously is going to be 1 meter. So now say we have to put a mass at the very end of this plank to balance this out. Very easy sum, right? 100 into 1 must be equal to 100 into 1. So, it will wait for the clockwise anti clockwise cooler. This also has to be 100 newtons. I want to write it to the arrow Katiana Hoyto to the Ekana Rakoito. The lay value to 100 take a better to right? It would become more than 100. Uh, say, for example, uh, if you were to put another block here, then you would have to calculate a, a moment, a distance to calculate correct our bear cooler. Does this make sense to everyone? Take a say, they should be in just the way. Atta. Anything placed exactly on top of the pivot will not contribute to the moment. So we don't consider it in the calculation. So it passes straightly down. So for example, if you go back to this question, eta total downward force to koto is going to be 2000 plus 750 plus uh, 500 plus 2000, two right? So you don't go to, that's the total weight acting downwards. So upward koto force act korbe? Exactly that much. Again, to the amrak to block rak thumb. The calculation would remain exactly the same, clockwise and anticlockwise. However, total downward and upward would have changed. Is this clear? Force change. Huh. Yeah. That two percent clear, Shobar? Sure. All right, good. So we're done with the basics of moments and how to do the calculations. Okay, Tavra, let's move on to the syllabus. Let's do the next part.